Welcome to the NSIC Spotlight, the voice of the NSIC student athletes, powered by GPAC, GPAC, growing people and companies. I'm your host, Nick Corner, Assistant Commissioner at the Northern Sun. Today, we're joined by Lauren Dixon of the Minnesota Loose softball team. Lauren, thanks for joining us on the Spotlight. Thanks for having me today. All right, let's get started by you telling us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so I'm a junior here at UMD. I'll be graduating next spring in 2024, and I'm a chemical engin engineering major. I'm originally from Pulaski, Wisconsin, which is about 20 minutes outside of Green Bay. All right, excellent. And a chemical engineering major. What are your plans for post-UMD with that degree? Yeah, so I mean, I plan to, plan to enter the field pretty much right away after graduation. But in terms of what sort of industry or type of um, work I'm going through, I'm, um, I've had an internship this past summer and have another one this summer that'll kind of guide me towards the right field I want to go into. So um, it's a very broad field and I'm really open to anything at this point. So, yeah. And you got some time to decide yet with another year of eligibility left. Uh, Minnesota Duluth, what was it that drew you there to play softball and to get that degree? Yeah, so initially I learned about Minnesota Duluth in my junior year of high school um, through the recruiting process. But what really brought me here was I've always had a really big emphasis on balancing, being able to balance my academics with my athletics. And um, UMD has a really great chemical engineering program. Um, and being a D2 program would really um, allow me to be competitive in softball and also focus on my academics as well. So that was a really big plus for me. And then I came here and I love the area. I'm really big into the outdoors. So Duluth just really seemed to be the perfect place um, for me with all of those aspects. Well, excelling on the field you are. You're the two-time reigning NSIC Pitcher of the Week. And two weeks ago, you were named the NFCA National Pitcher of the Week. You racked up 75 strikeouts over that stretch. What uh, has it been working for you lately out there in the circle? Yeah, I really think it's just been um, a different mindset of really trusting my pitches and just letting myself throw them. Um, it's allowed me to mix in all three of my pitches and I've gained a lot of confidence in both my locations and my and my spins with them and just um, a lot of confidence in that bat set general. And we've also had a lot of communication with the coaches, which has been really great to work with like pitch calling and all that sort of things. Um, so they're really flexible with that sort of stuff to make sure that we're both on the same page out there on the field. And that's really helped a lot. All right, you mentioned your three pitches. Uh, what are those three pitches and which one's your best? Uh, yeah, so I throw a drop, change, and a rise ball. Um, I've My changes has been a lot improved, but um, I got a rise ball when I came to college, and that's really been my, that's been my statement pitch. So, yeah. All right, anything unique pregame routines that you do prior to a game to get ready? Honestly, I'm not a huge, like, superstition person where I need to do, like, a certain routine. I usually just do my hair the same, um, put in a scrunchie in the matching uniform, that sort of thing. Um, and then me and the other pitchers have a pretty set schedule that we know how to how to prepare for a game and when we start our stretching, when we start our throwing and um, move to the bullpen sort of thing. So just a consistent schedule before the game really helps a lot. All right. So uh, a new routine coming up for you guys because you finally get a home contest. Uh, you get to play in Duluth. You guys are off to an 11-3 start at NSIC play. Talk about how you deal with the ever-changing schedule of playing softball in a northern climate. Yeah, it's definitely hard just because you end up having a lot of traveling with you don't have a get to have a lot of home games and um, you really appreciate those home games when they do come. Um, and then obviously when you're traveling a lot, you're missing a lot more school. So that could be hard, especially with a more challenging major. So working really hard to get ahead um, in those times where I am at school. And then as much as, you know, maybe you don't feel like it, getting ahead on homework and stuff on the buses as well on the bus trips and in between um, like after games at night and that sort of thing, it's just kind of how it goes you have to try and get ahead as much as possible so you don't get behind essentially so yeah a lot of time spent with your teammates on the bus on the field in practice uh, tell us about some of those teammates this season yeah so this season a lot of teammates have really stepped up in um I think communication in general like we've had um people all across the classes who have really stepped up both on the field and out of the field um we have our captains we have Matty Surya, El Potts, and Kat Burkhardt, who are really leading the team well, both on the field and in practices, hyping everyone up, um, picking each other up, that sort of thing. Um, and then um, on the field as well, I mean, we have, I think one of the ways we found success is that we've been able to win those games where maybe um, maybe our bats haven't been super strong, but we've won those, those really close games. You know, we've had a lot of grit in that, and we've had 
um, quite a few people who have stepped up in the tight situations, you know, the two outs, like last pitch of the game, essentially, um, like Corey Wisey had, um, had a time last in the last game where she stepped up. Kendall Jenkins has stepped up a lot. Um, and just a lot of people playing their roles. We have the consistent people on the team, both in the lineup and on the field. We have Keanu Bender, um, you know, Nikki's been, Nick, Nicole Schmidt's been really, um, had a lot of communication at first base. I think that's connecting the infield a lot. Um, just in general, I think the communication is really important. And then just the consistency throughout all the players throughout the field. Um, Sydney's really been taking a huge, um, a big role behind the plate, um, has a great arm and that sort of thing. So just all around, everyone's really finding their role and finding what they can do con to contribute. And that's kind of how we found our success. Yeah, coach Lynn Anderson is in her second season Ed, as head coach up there. Tell us what it's like to play for her and something that she's taught you that you can use uh, later on in life. Yeah, so Coach Anderson, she really likes um, – her style is really focused towards the mental part of the game. So that's something kind of new that um, we have all kind of – we've all picked up on. You know, she's been really, really focusing on a lot. So um, for me personally, that has come with a lot of the visual visualization of pitching. So that's um, that's really important as a pitcher just to, you know, trust your pitches, but also to visualize it beforehand, mental imagery, that sort of stuff. So that's something that she's really implemented that I think – think has helped our success as well. Um, and then for her, she um, puts an emphasis on working with the pitchers as a staff. Um, we've seen a lot of pitch by committee games and that sort of stuff. So um, that's something um, like slightly different that she's implemented a lot. And I think both the pitching staff and her have really been really good job of supporting each other, picking everyone up um, and just overall that's helped a lot towards our success. Yeah, a very successful start to the season, obviously. Uh, a lot of softball yet to play. Um, but a final question I got before we let you go. What advice would you give to a young athlete to help in their development? Yeah, so, um, I mean, from pitcher to aspiring pitchers, um, just fo you don't need a ton of pitches. I'm sure people have heard that before. But, you know, just focus on a couple pitches you know, find what works for you and then, you know, find that pitch that maybe you throw a little bit differently that just works for you because in the end, those differences are going to set you apart. Um, and then even me coming to college outside of pitching, the one thing I've learned is that um, if you have a really good bat, there'll be a place in the lineup for you. So um, yes, feeling is important and all that kind of kind of stuff, but really um, what you do at the play is going to give you the playing time in college. So that's always just something to keep in the back of your mind as you're, as you're training. All right. Some excellent advice there. Thank you. Uh, that's going to wrap up this week's show. Thank you again to our sponsor, GPAC. Lauren, uh, best of luck to you and the Bulldogs the rest of the season. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me.